hole. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> A little crappy. Very cool. There's crappie in here. It's a good sign. There we go. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Let you go. Yeah. Nice little river crappie. Some uh, pretty deep pool here. Let's see if we uh, can't pull out another one. Let's definitely bring the uh, smaller jigs out here. Catch crappie. It's a good sign. Got one crappie. Let's switch up to his little smaller offering. Crappie sized offering. See if we can pull some more out. That one was just very aggressive and, uh, well, try to bite more than he could chew. So let's see if changing the presentation produce a few more bites. Nice little crappie minnow. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's a better crappie. <laughs> That's a better crappie right there. Where there's one crappie, there's more. Throw them right in there. It'll be safe. There we go. They're in there. They're just down deep. A little crappie. A little small. Nice. Thanks. It's the only little crappie jig I have. So if I lose this, I'm not sure what I'll do. But uh, we got to let it get down deep. Down to the bottom. It's very deep here. It's at least 10 feet, so it takes a minute for, uh, well, at least a couple seconds for that little one three second ounce jig to reach all the way down there. But they're, they're in here. See the line still going down, 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 down. There we go. I think it just stopped. There, ooh, that was a nice hit. Down, 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 down. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crappy. I think it fits right in the bottom. Ahí vamos. Para comer. El otro que tengo es más grande que ese. Ve, ahí está el otro. Mira. Let's see if we can pull something that's in that 11, 12 inch range that would qualify as a slab there's a whole group of them down there that's for sure <laughs> there it is there we go this one's a little better <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Mirado? Oh, yeah, that's a much better crappie right there. Oof, all the way at the bottom, doing a 12 second count before they get to the bottom, and they're on it right away. 
Uy, mira, está bueno. I want to get the food. There he is. It's funny is that you feel just a really slight tick. Oh, it came off. And uh, the way they hit it, they come up from behind. So all of a sudden, you have to catch up to them just to get the hooks and feel the weight. But that little telltale tick, it's all, it's all it is. As they inhale it. All right, all right, here we go. There he is. <laughs> Again, <laughs> little tick. See that line twitch? And he's on. There we go. Right. Thanks, buddy. Not bad. Came out here for a little family hike and uh, decided to fish. Glad I brought the fishing pole. There we go. This feels a little better. Oh yeah. All right, everybody. It's the next day. Uh, I had to uh, cut my trip a little short. I was actually just out on a uh, quick little family hike where uh, I got the opportunity to fish and uh, fish a new area. And uh, I was glad I brought a fishing pole. Uh, found a nice little pile of crappie, including a couple nice size keepers here. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get anything bigger. I tried to come back there uh, this morning, uh, but uh, well, I kept catching more little ones. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, we're going to try to make the most of it. Like I said, it's an impromptu fishing trip, and now we're going to enjoy the spoils of our uh, of our labor. Uh, we'll make a couple of nice uh, fried crappie whole, um, and all we're going to do for now is just quickly scale them. Got our scaler and our fillet knife so we can uh, gut these fish and prepare them to uh, fry them up nice and crisp. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this is a very easy technique to do. This makes it so much easy to, uh, to uh, clean this fish. Put it right here like this and go against the grain there we go look at that in about 30 seconds you can actually have a completely scaled fish that's how quick this is we enjoy these for lunch one is enough for each person there's four of us right now just do it like that there we go. We're going to do that to each one of them. Okay, now that we've got our fish all nicely scaled up here on our impromptu clean table, because we don't have anything else to use at the moment, just going to give these guys a quick rinse. Wash up off all these scales. Oh. There we go. All right, now that our fish have been nicely scaled, ready to gut them, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to cut right here, open up the mouth, go right in there, on one side here, one side there, release that under the chin part, come right here by the anal vent, and then just cut through all the way to the throat. Open up the gill area here, cut that down, and this is just the way I can quickly and efficiently gut a fish like these crappie and leave it with a good presentation. We're going to put our thumb right here in this opening we made and then rip out all the uh, gills in one fell soup along with the guts. There we go. 
Yeah, see, pretty nice clean. Only thing left here to do is give that a quick rinse. And uh, these are ready to, uh, you know, dredge and flour and uh, deep fry. So let's get the rest of these done and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, we got our fish all nicely scaled up, gut it, and we've added a little bit of salt and some little light seasonings and um, lightly uh, dredged them in some flour so we can get some nice crispy fish out of these. So we have them ready to go right there. We also cut some slits into some of these here just to get them a little bit more crispy. Uh, although that's not my preferred method, I prefer them whole like this. Uh, they do come out more crispy with the slits, uh, but they also, in my opinion, it dries out the meat a little bit. But um, you know, if you really want a really good crispy fish, good great crunch, cut some slits into the sides like that. Here we got about a half inch of uh, quarter inch to half inch of peanut oil heating up on our uh, iron skillet. We're just waiting for it to heat up, which is a little difficult since it's actually a little windy right now. But uh, once it's hot enough, we're gonna put these guys in there. Okay, I think our oil is hot enough. Let's start to get these fish in here right now. Oh, there we go. All right, it's been about four minutes or so. Let's give these guys a turn. They should be really nice, golden brown, toasty on the other side. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome, and it smells even better. There we go. We're going to let that cook for about another three minutes on that side, and then we're going to pull them out. All right, these, these are golden crispy right now, and this is how they should look once they're all done. I'm going to pull these out, let the uh, oil drain, and we're going to serve these up. There you go, nice, golden, delicious, whole fried crappie. All right, we're gonna serve these up with some white rice, salad, and some sauteed uh, zucchini, and uh, we're gonna enjoy these. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, catch you in the next one. See ya.